गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ए वेरी वार्म वेलकम ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल डीप बायोलॉजी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्रिप्टोफेन ओपेरोन द ट्रिप्टोफेन ओपेरोन इज द सेगमेंट ऑफ डी एन ए विच इंक्लूड्स प्रोमोटर जीन ऑपरेटर जीन एंड स्ट्रक्चरल जीन दिस ओपेरोन सेगमेंट इज रेगुलेटेड बाई दिस ट्रिप्टोफेन रेगुलेटरी जीन देर आर टू केसेस in the presence of tryptophan and second one in the absence of tryptophan the term negatively controlled repre repressible operon i will tell you in the later of my video first case when the tryptophan is absent in the e coli cytoplasm then this tryptophan is synthesized by the e coli because tryptophan amino acid is a very important constituent for its basic functions of the cell the first case in the absence of tryptophan the tryptophan regulatory gene encodes mrna by the process of transcription this mrna undergo translation process and produces aporepressor protein this aporepressor protein is in inactive form that's why this aporepressor cannot bind to this operator region now tryptophan promoter gene allows rna polymerase to bind to it and operator is free that's why this rna polymerase proceed further and leads to the formation of polycystronic mrna by the process of transcription this polycystronic mrna undergo the process of translation and produces five enzymes e d c b a this enzymes will proceed the pathway which convert prosimic acid into tryptophan in this way tryptophan is synthesized in the cytoplasm of e coli and the e coli carry out its all essential function the second one is when the tryptophan is present in the cytoplasm of e coli then it will not require any tryptophan to be synthesized the tryptophan regulatory gene encodes mrna by the process of transcription this mrna undergo the process of translation and produces aporepressor protein now as there is presence of tryptophan already in the cytoplasm of e coli then this tryptophan act as an corepressor corepressor and binds to this aporepressor protein and leads to some conformational changes in this aporepressor protein which will allow it to activate and now this activated repressor will bind to this operator region and tryptophan promoter gene allow rna polymerase to bind but it will not proceed further because of its interference by this activated repressor and there will be no expression of structural gene now i will tell you about this attenuator sequence in my next video which is very important regarding the csir point of view this is negatively controlled repressible operon because it encodes negatively means it encodes something repressible mediator in this case it is aporepressor when an effector molecule or corepressor is present then this will inactivate this this will activate this repressor protein and 
inhibit the expression of operon gene and that's why this is called as negatively controlled repressible operon i hope you have find my video useful please like subscribe and share with your friends thank you